The Rick James story based on books and memoirs will come to life on stage in his hometown. His daughter says it's about protecting the throne. That he was more than the sex, drugs, and rock and roll, and we want to give the backstory and, you know, all the tea. We want to give all the tea. It's a production that is said to be memorable, and having it in his birthplace makes it special. This is the roots. This is our foundation. Mm -hmm. If it wasn't for Buffalo, I wouldn't be here. Um, so it, it's definitely surreal, and I, I feel like it's like a twilight moment. The two-hour production is jam-packed. The highs and the lows, and we want to make sure that we don't sweep anything under the rug. You know, it's the good, the bad, the ugly. What most people's lives is composed of. The things we likely didn't know will come out. You know, the contribution that he made to our culture overall, um, the start with Neil Young, the start with Crosby, Stills and Nash, like everything that people don't know, that's what we want to, you know, magnify. And playing the role of Rick James as Stokely from the group Mint Condition. Or what did you have to do to tap into that that inner Rick James? It, well, it's a process and it's still happening, but the first thing I did was just dive into, of course, all the music, the records, any interview, any that's documentary, uh, everything I can find just to figure out what makes him tick, all the nuances. You'll get a taste of Rick James and Tina Marie and the song Fire and Desire. They were just two beautiful freaks of nature, you know, both of them, and it just, when they come together, it's just an explosion of, of yes. beautiful, dynamic energy. Yeah. And while we all know Super Freak, Stokely says his favorite song is this. You and I, we fit together like a glove on hand. That's right. On your side in Buffalo, That's Claudine right. Ewing, right. Channel 2 News.